everybody and welcome this is the Protoss tips and tricks now so let's get started right away it's first off if you're scouting against a Terran and you see that they haven't taken either of their gases or you actually see them building a second marine out of their barracks without getting a tech lab or reactor then you're safe to pressure with your stalker as you can see right here I'll just speed it up and get to the point you can spend a chrono boost on your stalker I believe I yeah, right here you can spend the chrono boost on yourself if you feel like the positions are pretty far away, it's up to you. And as you can see right here, I'm sending my stalker in. He did have a nice spare on his marines, but I do manage to soften this one up a little bit. And I scout, okay, he's got four marines, it most likely is the one racks expand. He doesn't have any bunkers yet, so I might want to go ahead and apply some pressure. And I mean, sometimes you'll get lucky if they don't have a nice spread like this. You can actually pick off a marine or two with some good micro. All right, this next one is when you're using DTs against Terran. You want to make sure that you always just send one first, just in case he has a missile turret up. So you, as you can see here, I'm sending one in. Okay, so now I'm safe to send my other two in. I want to make sure to split these up so that I force multiple scans and force turrets to be placed in a bunch of locations. So I decided to send one to his natural because that's the one that his army's closest to. Make sure you try and focus down mules especially. As, as you can see here, I have two in his natural. Or two in his main, I mean. And uh, again, versus Zerg, you want to also be splitting them up to force uh, the overseers to be delayed more. And make sure to focus down uh, spore crawlers or SCVs who are building missile turrets. And reactors or tech labs that are researching things. This one's pretty useful when you're defending against something like a 7 Roach Rush, Mass Speedling, or even like a 3 Rags or something. It's basically that 6 sentries can infinitely force field your typical ramp. So as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and hit attack. The force field kind of missed there. Hopefully that sentry won't die. It did. But also, it's uh, force fields last for 15 in-game seconds, which you can see down here as long as you have that on in-game very important to have on also but yeah you want to make sure that you're timing them pretty well evenly making sure that you're not wasting them or missing a force field off by a square that's probably the, the most annoying thing that'll ever happen but yeah that's pretty much it this one's pretty useless but kind of cool at the same time that warp prisms when they're in their phasing mode they can actually power buildings so as you can see here i'm going to just start building a stargate i believe in a second Yeah, there you go, and as long as it's within this little pylon range here, it, it can actually be powered. But uh, if I unpower it and fly away, then it can't be powered. But it's useful for building something like a Dark Shrine, which uh, I believe Real did in a game on Shatter Temple where to proxy his DT tech. And if you're like me, then you like to throw down some BM Fleet Beacons, of course. This one's probably the most useful, as it can be used in every matchup. Basically in late game engagements, you want to make sure to mix in DTs with your army because a lot of people won't notice them and I mean, the people in Masters won't even notice them because I do it in pretty much every macro game that I play and the DTs will just sit here doing so much damage and you take a look at how many kills one got, this one has 3 kills, 2 kills, and this one over here, 6 kills which is actually quite a bit. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe, like, and favorite. Thanks again for watching.